you go turn on downstairs okay turning oh it's a delivery hey what's going on guys jjml tv hd review time again we got a dash cam in the building z edge um touch screen dual lens dash cam ting what we got here wide dynamic range or something like that i don't know field of view four inch screen loop recording motion detection easy touch screen or something like that apparently um yeah let's just get in the box and see what's going on here let's actually get in there and see what's going on okay so that's the unit itself i think this is the primary unit yeah okay got a little screen protector thing going on there um is that a button or is that a port? I'm not sure. It looks like a port. Okay, it looks like a old-fashioned USB, micro USB port. And then what have we got here? We've got another USB port here as well. Um, it looks like we've got a micro USB port there going on. Cool. That's the front of the thing, so it looks quite wham, actually. Uh, nothing really going on the bottom. On the side, we've got like a SD card port. Come, come. And we've got the on and off button there and nothing on that side cool so i'll put that down to the side for now let's see what else we got going on inside the box let's check that rubbish away let's check that let's check that damn look at all this wireage all right no usb to micro usb cable and this looks like it's a couple of meters still so that could definitely reach from the front of your car to the back of the car um looks like we've got the rear camera unit with a 3M adhesive sticker on the back. Um, and you got your camera, oh, okay, so that's the camera port for the main unit, cool. That cable better be in here too. So it looks like you've got quite a couple of degrees of angling the rear camera unit with this little knob here. So that's kind of calm, you've got a little camera there. Looks all cool. Put that down there for a while. Don't know what this is, some kind of tool. <laughs> we'll use that later, hopefully. This this is this is a lot um this is the unit to connect the rear camera to the front camera so obviously they're giving a lot of wire here so that you can wire it all the way to the back of your whip um so that's ample wire and that's really good so you're not gonna have to really run out of wire there um this looks like the suction for suction cup for the front unit let me just double check that because i did see like a hot shoe kind of thing on the top there we go all right slide that in it looks like and there we go so it's now mounted like that you just put the suction on there one time cool 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 boy they even put in a little 32 gb memory card in there 32 gigabytes and you got your loop recording you don't really need any more um we've got some more 3m sticky things these are what you use to stick the wire around your car so that it looks neat um so yeah those will be useful um, it looks like you've got a, what is this, cigarette, cigarette lighter thing here, so that's going to be to charge your, well, to power your camera, I'm assuming, um, unless you hot wire it to your car's battery, but I'm probably going to just use this for now, because I don't know how to hot wire that into my car's battery, um, and then I think you just got a normal micro USB cable, that must be for data transfer, because this one isn't that long. So we've got bare things there, fam. Bare things actually cool. You've got instructions there as well. You want to read instructions? You've got all them instructions. What's this? A warranty card in here or something? You guys can use that if you want to. Um, must be a warranty card or something like that. Dear customer, blah, 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 blah. If you want to read that, pause the video and do your thing. But anyway, I'm going to go get this set up. Um, and I'll get back to you when it is set up. I never made it, but I know what it takes I'm motivated by a mix of emotion Got my statement, and I'm reading it slow So I can understand it fully Appreciate my standing go out of this world And right on time Oh, never in my life have I seen the sky light up 
Yeah, so um, this thing works, I guess. Um, you know, the front camera, as you can see there, the back camera is there. There's lots of options, too many options for me to even go into right now. But you can choose to have it on front camera only. You can also choose to have it on the rear camera only as well. Um, but yeah, no, the camera and everything, that all works good. I'm going to just try to get to playback now. Um, how do I get to playback? I think we'll go to the menu, men the menu system there. Can you guys see this? I hope you can. Playback, normal video. Uh, let's just try and play back any of these files here. Yeah. Wait, where's the bit where I'm actually driving? Here we go, a bit of reverse in action here. Bit of reverse in action. I don't know if I could use this camera to reverse, but there you go. See, the, the screen, the, the video quality is good, but the screen on this thing is very dead. But um, it's very hard to even film it. As you can see, the light is just doing a madness from it. It's very hard to film. Let me see if I turn the lights off, whether it'll make a difference. There we go. It's a bit better there. Turn off smart plug one. Uh, but yeah, no, it's all good. What it does, I've realised, is it also makes the video file into two separate files. So you get one file for the front and one file for the back. Um, and they're all split up into three minute segments. So it doesn't save the video in picture in picture mode. Which is kind of good, I guess, because you're getting the full picture for um, all your drives kind of thing. So you'll probably see me back up in a second. One second. There you go. So you're seeing my car back up now um, for the same drive. And um, yeah, no, it seems good. Let me just get to some bit where I'm actually driving. There we go. So yeah, no, it looks nice. It's 1080p, 60 frames per second. Goes up to 2K at 30 frames per second, but I think I'll stick with the 1080p, to be honest. As you can see, the frame rate looks really nice. Um, it's very clear. The view isn't too wide, but um, you've got front and back there, so, you know, it should be okay. You've got the timestamp there in the bottom left corner as well. It looks really cool. It looks really cool. <laughs> 